I grayling fishing. Yes. Enjoying it. Loving it. What's the crack with the setup? What do we need to do it? What we're doing here today? Well, you need a slightly longer rod than you'd perhaps use on a commercial because mm. you need to have control of your float down the river. That so was... for this, we've got a 13 foot of Ventos. I'm lucky for some, but not you. He's a big oh. fish. It's a grayling. It's Is a grayling. It? I saw it's it? thin. I saw it's thin. It's a grayling. Oh. Oh God, he's a big one. He's a big one. Have you got a life support unit on that back? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> look at that big rudder on top, they're so in control of the fight. Oh, look at him, he's right. a nice fish. I'm not going to rush this, I'm no. just going to wait for him to be tired. It's got a lovely action, nice soft tip, so if you're catching different sizes of fish, and also you can control your float. It's light as well, innit? Yeah. You know when you're holding it for ages, Standing running in the river down. for ages. Yeah. Yeah. And then reel. Reel, that's a 3000 Aventus, just nice and small spooled reel, so you can just get your finger on it, so you can control the open spool. What's it very important. With? I think you've put five pound pulse pro on there, I you? have, you're very yeah. correct, sir. And that's just, again, a nice light monofilament, so basically it's not going to interfere with your float as it's going down. If you use a heavier line, sometimes it can pull your float off course. And there's the float. Quite a big one, isn't it? It For is a, a big one. river. Yeah. Why is this that? Is, well, you just want it to be controlled and just, you know, so while your rod's going down and you're controlling that, it stays in the same part of the river so you know where you're feeding, you are fishing as well. Do you know what else I think is really important? That alloy stem. A big orange top and all. Oh, yeah, there's that too, yeah. What's yeah. that then? Because I've not got the greatest of eyes, but I can see that yeah. 50 metres down yeah. stream. Because you could be running a long way downstream, Yeah, you? you often are. Mm. Oh, oh. Come on, Baba. Oh, see that? It's a bit suspicious, didn't it? Got one? Oh, I've only gone and got one. No, you're joking. This is neat and tidy, isn't this it? Is this is very neat. Here. This is definitely a Matt Godfrey uh, input. A lot of people use a bulker shot. Basically, this is just to get the rig down in position when you're fishing. Matt's gone one step further. He's used a tungsten olivette surrounded by two smaller shots so it gets down nice and quick and you're not going to get any tangles with that. Or any problems. You like that, don't you? You mm, like this rig. I really like it. Where we going? Where, oh yeah, we've got a little dropper there. Again, that's just for a little bit of control, so that hook length is behaving correctly towards the bottom of the the rig. And that's only a little look we've got down there. Yeah, size 16. These fish grayling, they eat normally bugs, uh, what insects, stuff like Hopefully. that. Hopefully. They've got quite a small mouth, haven't they? Yeah. So we're only Hopefully. fishing maggots, so Hopefully we're matching two red maggots. Yeah, we're matching the hook size to the. The maggot size. Mm, good hooks then. Feeder specials. Feeder specials. Love in the barb, spade end. These are just pre tied ones we've cut down. Mm, been lazy, haven't we? Been lazy. <laughs> Let's go and, and catch another grayling. Come on then. Let's go. Give me a northern. It's a, a grayling, really northern. Grayling. 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 Come on in. 